this is a braided mohawk style that I did. Um, I practically just want to show you how I braided the extension. I used the full length of um, expression uh, ex extension, the ultra braid. So I just uh, parted it in two. Then I worked to smoothing out um, the hair itself before I start twisting. I twisted it. It's not really easy to do this on your own. So you need somebody to help you hold on to it very tightly. And I use the mousse to like to make it lay flat so that it will not be all over the place. If you don't have mousse, you can always apply water to it. And then I twisted it very tight. It has to be very tight. But sometimes you can do a loose twist depending on what the person wants. But um, what we wanted here, she had more than enough extension for it. So I needed to do it very tight because the tight one lasts longer than the loose one. I twist like that till I get to the very end. Then I use a rubber band to secure it. I also do the, I also do the same on the other half of the extension. I get her to hold the part that I have twisted, then I repeat it on the other side of the extension. I then parted her hair in two. Uh, with the braiding of the hair, you can do whatever pattern you want. But the most important thing is that the corn roll, the corn roll has to be small. That is what brings out the beauty of the mohawk. The pattern is whatever you want. So I was practically like freestyling.
and when I was done braiding the the cornrows, I actually made a, uh, a, a recording of how I installed the mohawk, but um, I think the video were deleted in transit when I was transferring. So unfortunately, I lost the clip of how I installed the mohawk. But it wasn't anything so um, difficult. I just used a very big needle to sew it onto the hair from the front to the back. <laughs> 